Hello, and welcome back to Pockets Gaming, and it's night. Oh god, what a good... Oh, oh, oh. What a good way. Oh my god. I'm not used to this yet. Oh, I'll show you what I did. Oh god, I need double doors. <laughs> Monsters. What? Huh? Huh? Monsters, what? Wait, huh? Uh... Sure. Monsters. Somewhere. Monsters. They are aggroing me, but, uh, huh. oh, what a good start to this video. Anyways, we won't sleep. Who cares? I'll try one more time. Nope. <sighs> a lot has happened. I've been busy for pretty much the whole day. Um, mainly with Dartcraft. So, I've got a tier 7 upgrade tome at the moment. I've got all my armor enchanted. I'm all good. I don't need tools anymore. I'm happy as can be now you can see here I've got light cap light tunic light pants and light boots you can see all these modifiers on it um, so eventually when you get high enough in the Darkcraft thing which takes seriously only an hour or two it took me maybe two hours and then a bit more time to farm enough bat claws and uh, some spider eyes and all that you can enchant your armor even more so previously you used to be able to have to make upgrade cores and then slot an upgrade core into your armor but you don't have to do that anymore you can just put your armor here and then just um, put the items in there now most of what i did and i'll show you a bit later is uh, bleed sturdy heat although sturdy i'm not sure if that was a good idea but we'll, we'll we'll go with it for now it doesn't really matter too much heat wing speed and damage so i put these in all my all my armor items you can see my hat for example has got heat damage bleeding one luck speed wing and sturdy uh, luck comes from fortune cookies which are very easy to make it's just a piece of paper with a cookie and seeing as i'm next to a jungle easy what all of this does and i've also got bane on my um, chest piece and what bane does is it's one of the cooler ones if if you punch someone or hits uh something let's say do we have a creeper nearby yes we do now, first of all, you'll notice that I hit like a truck, but this creeper is dead. But when you hit it with uh, with Bane, the creeper can't explode anymore, and similarly, an enderman can't teleport anymore, which is very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's 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 so so good. Now, you, you saw that I had damage from bat claws on my armor, and that makes my punches do so much damage. I don't need a weapon anymore. It's like completely useless because these punches are just ridiculous. Now, if you put coal in your armor, which gives you the heat one, it actually puts your the mobs on fire, and I think they take half a heart of fire damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, bleeding comes from arrows. Ah, oh, there's an enderman. Hello, hello, ender tot. I punch you, dunk. And now you can't teleport anymore, which is uh, very nice. I mean might not need it you can just do more damage but it is pretty handy now one of the things I don't like about this is that the bleeding actually damages them so you can't um, you can't punch them anymore because they're already taking damage from the bleeding well, it's not really a big deal I might change it later on now the other thing I did was add a battery to my armor and that makes it this the, the light variant and that, instead of taking durability damage um, it takes energy damage which is awesome like I never have to change it I just have to um, recharge it once in a while I've been wearing this the whole day or, or at least a few hours and you know it, it doesn't really take much damage really so to that purpose I also made some bio bio engines I don't know what they're called or bio generators and they just run on the same biofuel which is quite nice and they generate EU so they're from forestry and they go into the MFE I don't need anything more at the moment and I can recharge my armor. Pretty cool. Now the other cool thing that you can do now with Force Punch, and that's what it's called when you just use your hands, is you can mine. So I can just get cobble, I can get diamonds, I can get anything you want. So it's pretty much as efficient as a diamond pickaxe, I believe. Very nice. The only issue I have with this, which is quite annoying, is that you can't have anything on your hotbar. Eh, monsters. There's probably something under here. So... Uh, earlier I was in the twilight forest um, actually I should explain that as well in the lava world here uh, that I made the top of it the surface is twilight forest so I was in there and my whole inventory is full including my hotbar so I couldn't actually select a slot that has nothing in it 
So I couldn't punch stuff. So if, if I do this, it, it won't work. Which is a bit of a shame. But apart from that, it, it's it's awesome. I also got the force range. I went to the nether because I had to get some blaze rods. Um, picked up a few spawners, so that's quite nice as well. What else did I do? Oh yes, yeah, so I upgraded my force pack, which I made as well, it's very simple to make, into an ender pack with an ender pearl. So same way as here, I put the force pack in here, put an ender pearl with it, and it upgrades into an ender pack. And this works with ender chest, etc., which is quite nice as well. Now the blaze rods I haven't actually used yet, but what I want to do is um, get my ender chest connected to my ME network so that um, when I'm out, wherever, you know, I can just open my pack, chuck stuff in there, and it'll automatically go into the uh, into the ME network. Also, my drives are getting full. Hmm. Whilst my quarry is not running at the moment because I haven't moved it yet. I've been too busy. Too, too busy. Cool. What else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Now, I wanted to start by going towards um, Tinker's Construct. And I think I won't for a little bit because this, this suits my purposes for now. Um, I'll leave that for a little bit till later. Bronze stuff. Oh, another book. Cool. The books are useful because you can make... <laughs> you see all the leveling stuff I, I got? <laughs> I had enough force um, ingots. I still have so many, so I didn't really bother to uh, to be efficient about it. Okay, I'll just chuck all this in he here. Although I probably need my wrench, but oh, not the portal gun and the force rod. I'll put in there, and I'll get my prototype thingy out. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I want to get started on the ME crafting stuff. And that's going to be very helpful because it's... Oh. Hmm. That's going to annoy me to hell. But uh, it's okay. It's almost there, I think. Ah, the other thing. Uh, the armor. Is when you give feather or wing, as it's called, to the, uh, to the armor pieces, you can get this extra jump. Also, if you hold space, you fall down slowly, which is quite nice. Um, it does use the bar, as you can see on the left top of my screen. There's a creeper on my rubber farm. Hello? No, 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 no. Don't explode. We don't do that. Hey, you know, the spoil's back. Nice. Uh, and that allows you to jump so high and also float. As you can see, now I'm just floating. Um, I also added sugar to the armor, which makes you walk faster. That's why I run like an idiot at the moment. And last but not least, the wing also lets you fly. And it's a bit awkward, I think. But you have to press shift, space, and right click at the same time. And you can fly. It uses the bar as well. I've got the feather or the wing enchant on four armor pieces. So I can fly. I think it's it's either 40 seconds or because I don't have the sword, it's it's 32. But either way, it's enough for you know basic stuff. Quite nice. Boink. It also absorbs fall damage. Uh, it also lets you walk up one piece of cliff. So I'm not pressing jump or anything. I can just walk up, which is extremely handy. I mean, this armor is pretty OP to be honest, <laughs> but nice. I'm not complaining at all. Okay, let's uh, put uh, all this stuff in here as well. And let's get started with the crafting stuff from uh, Applied Energistics. And to do that, we first need to decide how big we want to make it. And the bigger we make it, the faster it can craft and the more patterns we can put in it so the more stuff it can do so i'm thinking the minimum is three by three but that's way too small of course i'm thinking we might go with something like four height by eight which is massive that's that's really big but that's gonna keep us going for a long time so let's uh where should I make this? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a good question, eh? Um, I might just make it here for now. I can always pick it up later. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we'll go make it underground. Hey, is a random hole. Probably had some cables running at some point. Make a random hole. And we'll have it completely underground, I think. So that's four. And then one to the surface. And then we're going to do another four this way. So that's one, two, three. Actually, we'll do five. Four, 
five. I just hope I don't get to any. Uh... Hmm. To any cables, we will see. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. And that, that that should be just that should be enough by far. <laughs> I probably you could probably start by four by four or so, and that's gonna craft stuff way fast for you. You don't really need more than that, but I don't like efficiency as you well know. I like doing stuff a bit more um grand. So um let's let's do that. Okay. Oof. So much digging, but it's good with my hands, you know, it doesn't take any durability. It's not the fastest, but it works is fine. I, I might make a pickaxe with uh, Tinker's contract later. But we'll see. Maybe not. No, actually, I'll definitely will because I, I like that mod. Uh, I haven't played with it yet, but... Oh, I do need to go one more. Okay, cool. Cool, almost done. It looks amazing. The way, the way you do it is completely new. I haven't really seen anything else like it, so that's nice. Okay. Uh, also, for all the cobble, by the way, I saw someone um, recommend using deep storage units, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's by far, I think, the nicest solution. Um, and they store, I think it's up to 2 million items of a single. It's like a barrel on steroids, really. So we, we might use that. But not now. Like, the cobble is still manageable at the moment, so we'll do now the crafting stuff in uh, applied energistics is pretty cool but it doesn't smelt stuff for you um, so we're gonna do that separately um, so we're gonna have the ME network set up to some pulverize and stuff now again I know it wastes power I know I know it's way better to do it straight from the quarry and put it straight into the um, the smelting system and stuff and then put it in ME I know but it's not as much fun it's not as much fun <laughs> simple as that okay so we got a 4x8 so we need to make some containment units. Let me just find those. <coughs> and that's those things here. So the walls. So we need a good amount of these. So we're going to get some gold and some iron. Oh, I don't have much gold. Hmm, I might just also smelt and pulverize some extra, which is something we don't have to do anymore. So, oh, 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 pulverize. Don't waste it. Don't waste it also this should be output I'll go straight in here and I'll go in here perfect okay got some gold in there uh, and some iron which I should have so much oh 1500 holy crap that's fine okay uh, and quartz now I'm not gonna count exactly how much I need that's not fun so we're just gonna make some and we'll see how far <laughs> we get uh, bonk. 24. Well, we definitely need more than that, so I'm just going to make them all. So the way you have to do this is oink, set them up along the outside like this. And across as well. You pretty much make a fr Oh, God, that's annoying. Uh, <laughs> make a frame of it. Okay. There we go. Now, I already ran out, so I'll probably need about... 40 more, I think. It's 40 sound about right to you guys. <laughs> Gold is the problem here. Well, what we could do to have a quick fix, I guess, is we can turn iron into gold. I don't know how much we need, actually, but... Hmm. We'll see. I also finally got a lot of tin from my... Uh, quarries, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Uh, how do we make gold? Well, oh god, there's a lot of iron. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Who cares? Boom. Oh. Fine, I didn't, I didn't shift click it. That's fine, let's do it this way. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> Boom. 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 Wow, that doesn't make much, does it? That's uh, 61 only. That almost made more. Get some more iron. Twink, twink. 
Can I just shift click this? Yes, okay, thank you. Although I have it sorted by the amount at the moment, so that's a bit annoying. All right, let's make some more of these, shall we? 22 more. Well, getting there, getting there, not, not far off, not far off at all. How do I break these? With my fists. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna need more than 40 that I was talking about, I think. Although, three more here and about, was that? Seven, so 10 more. That's not bad. Uh, also, it's gonna be a four by nine, four by four by nine. That's cool. That's cool, I like that. Wow, that gets quite annoying. <laughs> Searching would be faster, but hey. Gold, gold. Hey, doesn't do that. Hmm. Well, wow, that's annoying. But we should have enough after this to make enough. Yes, I might not have enough iron now. Oh, 20, perfect. Beautiful, we'll have some extra as well because why not? I don't think I can turn them back into... Uh... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So now we need to make some heat vents and some other stuff. But let's make the heat vents first. And the heat vents... Again, I've never done this before. So if I mess up, <laughs> you're warned. The heat vents are made using iron bars and iron and some cable. Okay. Ugh, cable's gonna be annoying, but iron bars is easy. Let's just get some iron more. Actually, I have no idea how to make iron bars. Okay, easy. <laughs> uh, like that, isn't it? Yep, that makes 160 of them, so that will be plenty. Uh, the cables, so the cables, we definitely need quartz dust. We need, was it nether? I've got a lot of nether, well, a lot, not a lot, but some. Okay, that's the annoying thing about the terminal. Okay, we need nether quartz dust, certus quartz, and redstone, okay. Let's get some redstone. Oh, some nether quartz. Don't have much. I'm gonna have to set up a quarry in the... Uh... Actually, no, I'll do it. Just do it manually. It's really easy. It's one of the easiest things to get nether quartz. Oh, let's not do everything. A <laughs> little bit of overkill there. That's okay. I also get some glass going, some gold going for later. I'm sure we'll need it more. Uh, so I have this, I have this, and I have some of this. I don't need much, so. Actually, I do need quite a few cables. Let's see, it's a two, two by seven is 14, 28, 34, 40 of them I need. So I need 40 cables, at least. I need more as well later on. But at least 40 cables, and I need three. I need one flux dust per, so I need frick. I need 40 nether quartz, holy. Okay, well, whilst that is going, I'll show you something else. I'll show you something else cool. Let's get all the stuff off my hotbar, which I need to do now, because I need to uh, have my fist out. It's not ideal, I'm, I'm going to change it at some point, pretty soon actually, I think, but for now it'll do. So this is my uh, little blaze rod farm. Oh, I thought they could get, oh, nether quartz. Mining with my fists, pretty awesome if you ask me. <laughs> you can hear them. Hello? There's three spawners in there. They were having a good time before. Hello? Punch. So I one hit KO them now, that's very nice. Bye. I don't need the blaze rods for now, so let's go back. Also found four or five different nether fortresses. Sometimes it's hard to say if they're the single if they're the same ones or not. For now, let's make the heat events. We should have enough for now. There we go. 
Let's combine all these together. Even if I over make them, it doesn't really matter. I've got two dust from each. Okay, well, there's my answer. Glass. Ugh, we'll never have to manually craft again. Can't wait for that, to be honest. <laughs> There's so many awesome stuff that you can do in this mod that crafting becomes such a boring thing. Okay, well, that's going to be too many cables. I just need 40, so how about we just do that? Oh, actually, it's not bad. 60s, 60s, fine. Cool. It's getting dark again. I wonder if I can sleep. Boom. 39. Um, okay, none of iron. I have exactly enough... Um, enough bars. That's quite hilarious, to be honest. Okay. Got one more. There we go. Oh, let's start putting these in. Now, these things will keep the um, assembly chamber cool. There we go. Now, we're not going to finish the job yet because we need to put some other stuff in before we can finish it. Now, I should have two left. Yes. Cool. My counting is not off. Yeah, netherrack there, why not? Oof. Hey, why is it empty now? Oh, I took some types out, okay. The next thing we need, we need quite a few things left, so we've already 20 minutes on this cast, so um, if you're in a hurry, too bad. <laughs> the next thing we want to make is a pattern provider, a pattern encoder. I think we'll make this first maybe or maybe we make the encoder doesn't really matter let's make them all I don't know what this is actually I have to play with it at some point uh, and we also need some crafting CPUs which are quite easy to make to be honest although glowstone glowstone yes I found enough okay uh, first let's get started with the pattern provider now the pattern provider will determine how many patterns you can save in your assembly encoder so for example if you wanted to have five auto crafting recipes in there you'd need just one because it has like I don't know, 50 spaces in it or something oh heat vents at the top and the bottom hmm <laughs> wow i'm an idiot i'm an idiot not good. I do I still have some. F I might be able to. Uh, hang on. Let me get some iron ore and get that pulverized before we do anything else. And just to speed it up, I'm going to be a bit wasteful. I'll just turn my uh, quarry on soon. Let's get some iron. Uh, I have it all. Okay. So, we have 19 only. That's not even close to being enough. So, we need to get the nether quartz dust. So that's, oh, that's pulverized tin. Hmm. Oh, I do have it. Wow. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Okay. Okay, so we put that there, we put that there. We'll need some more glass, but that's okay. How many more cables do we get? 29. We need... <sighs> 2 by 7 is 14. We need 28 more. Okay, perfect. Wow. That, that, was, that was quite well done. Uh, and we need a lot more iron, which I don't have. We need a lot more iron. Okay. Getting there. Now we also need to get an auto smelting recipe up. A refined iron doesn't work, I think, does it? Can we make bars out of refined iron? No. It makes fences. Okay. Completely pointless. Completely point. I could make something else into iron, I guess, but. Man, it gets so tiring, doesn't it? Put my pole rusting in there as well. Amber. Boom. Okay. Cool. Still going. Still going. Still going. Okay, now. 
I do have two left. Oh no, we don't. Never mind. So we need 28. So we need 28 times 4 is we need 32. We need 112 iron bars. Oh my god. I, I, I should not. I should not do math <laughs> in a video. But I think that's right. Uh, 112, I said. So 112. Okay. Well, let's start with that. Oh, well, that's not enough. 64. Bit more. Boink. That's too much, but that is definitely enough. It's a bit too much even, so that's fine. Where's my iron at? Still going, still going, still going, still... No? No? 22 in here. We need a hundred and something for this as well, don't we? Yes, we do. I know it's a waste. I know it's a waste. But that's okay. Let's see if we can sleep. Boink. Oh god, that's annoying. Monsters. Hmm. That's annoying. <laughs> uh, it's 94, 104. Boom, there we go. That should be enough. 28. Did I say we need 28? I did say we need 28, don't we? <laughs> oh man, I'm good. Oh no, it's three wide. Okay, I thought it was two wide, so we need a lot more. I should never, ever, ever do math on stream, on stream or YouTube, doesn't matter. Just don't. <laughs> oh. Use my fists. How many do we need? Okay. Okay, I'm sick of this. We need four by three, we need 12 more. Oh, and then two, we need 14 more, okay. Well, the iron is not a problem anymore. It's just, do we have enough cables? No, we don't have enough cables either. I am screwed. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Why would I be screwed? Have some faith, guys, have some faith. It's eventually I'm gonna turn out all right. <laughs> eventually I'm gonna make my parents proud. Okay. Boom. I'm gonna make quite a few extra because I'm pretty sure we need them later on as well. Okay. Iron. We have iron bar still, so that's cool. Why is this not? Don't I set this up? Aha, uh -huh, getting there. That's a. Uh, boom, that should be enough. That should be plenty. Might make some extra, extra uh, bars as well. Phew, man, I didn't think we'd need this much. Although I don't know why I don't think that's true, but let's make that is enough. Yes. <laughs> okay. So only fourteen I said. Cool. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. Two left. Perfect, because those go here. All right, now we need to look at the crafting CPUs and the pattern providers. Now, pattern providers the provide the pages. So, honestly, I think probably, mm, let's see, let's think. Let's make, how much space do we have in here? How much space is provided? So it's, Six times seven, so 42, holy crap, that's a massive, oh god, that's gonna crap stuff so fast, that's way too big. <laughs> Didn't think this through. We need, let's say, six, no. Yeah, let's make it six for now. Uh, we need a lot of stuff for that that we don't have. So what we're going to do is I'll cut the video short here. We'll do it next video because this is going to take another episode or so, I think. Uh, also, I'll make sure I have all the ingredients. I'll go restart my quarry, which I might actually do already. Some landmarks. I have some redstone, some sticks. Let's make a couple of torches. And then also make three landmarks. 
I'll show you the world as well, it's pretty awesome. Uh, this one? Yes. Oh, it's still going? What's it doing? Oh, all it's doing is getting rid of that stupid tree. Oh, man. So it's been wasting all this power the whole time. Because the, um... Oh, sh... Ha, 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 ha. It's a fly. Okay. Man. Oh, see, I already died there once. I know it was before last episode. Okay, let's, uh... Get this tree out of the way, because this is the problem. So it's still pouring. I didn't think it was. Interesting. Anyways. These trees... Oh, it's really bothering me. Okay, I'll have to get... You're so used to this flying. Normally you would just double tap space, but... It doesn't work. Look how fast it goes to the leaves as well. Punch. Is that all? Um, might be some here as well. Punch. That is all I believe. I don't think this actually matters, but I'll take it anyways. Stop shooting me, stupid skeleton. Oh, wow. Cool. Now this core should go inf infinitely, so I should have enough materials before then. Die, spider. Die. Before the next video, I'll have enough materials and we can go from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll just get rid of this tree. And next time we'll finish it. So we'll make it so that we can autocraft uh, items. And I hope... Well, not I hope. I, I'm pretty sure that I'll have enough time to also get the auto smelting set up which is actually quite simple we'll use the pulverize we already have we'll use some um the powered furnaces that we already have so that's going to be pretty awesome so once again thanks for watching and i will see you next time